Hey everyone, we got some uh, exciting Zelda news for you. Some first details on Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity DLC. Also, some stuff surrounding uh, the Zelda 35th anniversary, uh, including some juicy rumor, great stuff. You know, we've been covering this all on top of it. And I know what you're thinking right now. You're looking at me and you're going, damn, Nate, that is a fly officially licensed Legend of Zelda hoodie. I mean, look at this. Look at this. You see that shield? Yeah. Here's the deal. I would love to link to you guys where you can buy this. Here's the problem. They don't make it anymore. That's right. This officially licensed product, it doesn't exist anymore. However, you know what does exist? This PVC first four figure Revali statue that's 10.7 inches, two different versions, one of them that lights up at the base, one of them that doesn't. The one that doesn't is about 108 bucks. The one that does uh, have a light at the bottom is about $127. I will put links down in the description uh, if you guys would like to buy it. They are officially licensed. They are made by First Four Figures. They are supposed to be shipping by this December. Might be the perfect time to get them with Breath of the Wild 2 potentially on the horizon. Also, I know, you really want this hoodie. Well, you know, the thing is, it's a good thing that <clears throat> I've got two of them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's that? Oh, this one too? This one's brand new as well. The tag is still on it and everything. I don't know if I can get it for you. It's just, yeah, the tag is still here and everything. That's right. It's the first time I've ever worn this thing. These are just two items that we will be giving away during our massive E3 shenanigans this year, starting on, as far as we're aware, June 12th, unless there's other E3 things going on earlier. Then our four-day show becomes a five-day or six-day show. We are giving away thousands of dollars worth of stuff. We're giving away Nintendo Switches. We're giving away these hoodies. We're giving away games. We're giving away accessories. We're giving away things like this collectible. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild coin from E3 2016. That's right. I only have two left out of the 18 that I originally had. Uh, and this is one that is fully sealed, has never been opened. And this one is one I'm giving to you. I'm keeping my other one for myself as a memory. But that is something that's being given away during our event. Yes, lots of Zelda stuff. But not just Zelda. We have so many giveaways going on. Uh, just what are you doing? Why are you not subscribed? Why are you not liking this video? And why don't you head down to the description, click the link to our first stream set up for, for uh, E3 2021, and uh, hey, set notifications for it so you know when we go live so you don't miss an opportunity to win a bunch of cool free stuff. Also, we're going to have gaming competitions where you can beat me in one-on-one -on -one matches in Super Smash Bros. to win prizes. And you will also see Eric from the Nintendo Prime Podcast and myself go at each other 1v1 in various video games throughout E3 with the loser getting various forms of punishment. Hot chip challenge? Egg on the head? I don't know. We're still gathering up what all those punishments are going to be. In fact, you guys let me know what you would like those punishments to be down below. All right, folks, let's dive deep into this. You've waited long enough. We're getting information here from Samus Hunter 2, who, again, has been right on a whole bunch of stuff. And, yes, Nate the Hate of all places, uh, because Nate the Hate is great. Known as Nate Drake over on the Reset Era and NeoGAF forums. Uh, he does appear on the Spawncast uh, Spawncast podcast that happens every uh, Saturday night over at uh, Spawnwave's channel. And then, yes, he has his own podcast as well, uh, which is very, very informative. Uh, he does have industry insiders and sources on things. He's very coy about it. He doesn't talk about his sources that much. But every now and then, he'll kind of put two and two together over things he's hearing and throw it out to the masses. So we got uh, some juicy stuff to talk about. First, I was getting the Samus Hunter 2, who's been teasing for weeks now that we were going to get something Zelda related this month. Was it 35th anniversary? Is it Breath of the Wild 2? Is it just Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity DLC? It turns out it might be a combination of multiple things. First off, new details from Samus Hunter 2 today for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity DLC that will be unveiled today. In fact, this image you're seeing up here, or at least a partial image on the, on the screen, that's actually part of the leak. Now, it's just got various characters on there, but the point is, some of these characters that weren't playable in the past will be playable in the future. And we have some more details. If you don't want to know what the Hyrule Warriors DLC is going to be, um, maybe skip this part of the video. Uh, if you don't care, here we go. Don't worry, there's not really any major spoilers, I would say, uh, except for whatever is behind that question mark, which I have no idea what it is. It says spoiler, I, I have no idea what it is. Uh, it says, 
Back in December, I tried to create a picture with some elements from the promotional material used in the Direct. And here are things that are going to be announced for this DLC. You're going to help Robbie Impura learn more about Sheikah weapons. You're going to take on missions to unlock new weapons. What else is new there? And you're going to learn more background on the characters in the world. I know. Very, very, uh, you know, limited information on the Hyrule Warriors uh, DLC. They're beyond helping Robbie and Pura specifically with the Sheikah weapons. The rest of it's kind of a general thing, but we're going to be hearing about it. And this image does contain legit spoilers for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity DLC. So I'll put, I'll put it full screen for you guys so you get a quick look at it. And then I was obviously curious, hey, is this all, you know, is this what you were teasing? Uh, and and uh, this is what Samus Hunter said. This is what she said. Uh, yeah, all of the elements included in the image are related to some of the contents of the entire expansion pass, like playable characters, weapons, and armor and theme. Uh, and then I said, hey, so are we going to get any other announcements this month, or is this it for The Legend of Zelda? And this is what Samus Hunter 2 said. Likely, yes. But I would also expect Nintendo teasing other things for E3. But that is speculation on my part. Right now, I don't know about any game-specific plans for E3, obviously beyond the prior tournament stuff. Uh, and we're a little bit further away. Based on how I know Sam and Sunder gets her information, she wouldn't really be privy to what's happening at E3 until much closer to E3, uh, like a week or so away. So we'll see what happens. Uh, beyond all of that, um, Samus Hunter 2 threw this out, out there a couple days ago saying starting this month we are going to see more news in the Zelda series that's part of the news is this High Warriors Age of Calamity DLC and so also likely to be an appetizer before the main course at E3 but we are entering the Zelda 35th anniversary so Samus Hunter believes Zelda, th Zelda 35th anniversary stuff it's happening E3 big blowout let's go now what might happen at E3 what can we expect what is going on? Nate the Hate, on his most recent episode of the podcast, linked below, uh, gave the following statement. And paraphrasing because, you know, he has long-form discussions like we do on this channel. Uh, and he says, he stated firm belief that for the 35th anniversary of Zelda, so he too believes Nintendo celebrating that 35th anniversary of Zelda, that we will be getting Twilight Princess HD and the Wind Waker HD with minor improvements packaged together so when you're talking about that 3d all-stars type game this is what we're going to get these are two games that nintendo already hd'd over on wii u so there you go uh also that we are going to get ocarina of time and majora's mask by the end of this year as well however this is where this goes against some of the other rumors and reports out there He's saying that it's going to be a digital-only release now uh, for Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Now, if they were actually like remastered or whatever, Nintendo would obviously give us a physical package for them. Digital-only kind of suggests a bonus to the Nintendo Switch Online, something like that. Now, we did get bonuses. We did get like Super Mario uh, All-Stars from the SNES as a bonus during the 35th anniversary, so that kind of feels like that's what this could be, although there aren't any N64 games so maybe this is like spinning off and do, are they going to add N64 games to the Switch? And it's just going to be headlined by Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask this, this you know, winter. I have no idea, uh, but that is something he has thrown out there. Uh, again, now this is personal beliefs. Obviously, he's heard some stuff. He's not going to confirm or deny a certain way, but this is the kind of bee's knees of all of that information. So there you have it. That's all the new info on Zelda. I promise people I had the Zelda video today. I was busy gathering it all up. Realized I had the sick merchandise I can give away because I don't even use this. I like, I love this jacket, but I, just, I don't know, man. I feel like you guys, one of you guys out there can make use of it. Uh, though unfortunately, because these jackets aren't available uh, anymore, uh, you have to get the sizes I have, which I think this is a 2XL. And the other one's a size large. Either way, be given away during the, during our E3 event, along with so much stuff. Holy crap. I still have stuff arriving for the set I'm building, which I... Guys, you're going to want to tune into our, our E3 show. We're going to have the greatest, the best, the most exciting E3 21 show this side of, well, the entire world. That's right. Tune in here over Nintendo, even. Forget Nintendo. Because all the Nintendo stuff is going to be on our channel anyways, right? We're live reacting to it all. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you each in the next episode.